Right, uh, so now we're going to talk about uh, abstracts and plural complexes. So essentially this is when um, we just think of these plural complexes consisting of sets of vertices uh, and forget in some sense it's like uh, the geometric realization or embedding of it uh, in an ambient space. Okay, so let me give you a definition. So an abstract simplicial complex is a finite uh, collection. that um, if alpha is in A and there's a, a subset of alpha denoted by beta, right, then uh, beta is also in uh, A. Okay, so it's closed under subsets, if you will. Okay, so, um, and then the way you sort of think about these uh, collection of sets is that the sets themselves are, it's like are going to be your abstract simplices. So the sets in A are its simplices. Okay, and then the dimension of a simplex is uh, denoted by dim of alpha, and it's just the cardinality, which is the number of elements uh, in that set uh, minus one. So again, it's like uh, the thing to keep in mind um, in regards to connecting this with the geometric realization is that uh, if you recall, it's like in a geometric realization of a simplicial complex, the simplices are the convex hull of k plus one points. Okay, so you should think of the points as being um, the vertices, right? And then um, you take collections of points, um, and they of course uh, span some simplex, um, but if you think of the set of those points, uh, then uh, that's going to be one of these sets, it's like in the abstract simplicial complex. Okay, all right, so, um, so the same way that it, if you have a k-dimensional uh, simplex, it's like in the geometric case, it's like it consists of k plus one points in that set. So you, uh, if you want to take the dimension, it's like of an abstract simplex, it has to do with the cardinality of that set alpha, and then you have to subtract one. Okay, then the dimension of the complex is, uh, of course, just the maximal dimension of its simplices. Okay, so um, we're going to follow, it's like uh, much of what we had done, it's like in the geometric case, uh, but now in this abstract setting. So a face of alpha is a non-empty set beta, which is contained, uh, which is a subset of alpha, and it is proper. beta is not alpha. Okay, so this is again analogous to what we had before. And then of course it's like there's sort of the dual notion of uh, cofaces. So, uh, you know, it's like the coface of beta is alpha, well, one pa or alpha is a coface of beta, and uh, beta is a face of alpha. Okay. Okay, so the vertex set which I denote by uh, vert A. It's just the union, it's like of uh, all the elements in A. 
Okay, so it's the set of elements that lie in at least one simplex. that a subcomplex uh, B of A is a subcollection or a subset B uh, contained uh, in A such that B is again an abstract simplicial complex. is to say that uh, it is closed undertaking subsets okay okay so uh, so that's some abstract notion it's like of a simplicial complex and then we want to say something about uh, you know when two abstract simplicial complexes are in some sense the same right so two abstract simplicial complexes isomorphic okay if there exists a bijection B from the vertex set of one to the other such that uh, if alpha is in uh, the abstract simplicial complex A, this is true if and only if uh, B of alpha is in the abstract simplicial complex B. Okay? All right. Uh, then the largest abstract simplicial complex you can get. plus two vertices, n plus one vertices, sorry, All right, is uh, the n simplex together with its uh, two n uh, plus one minus two proper faces. Two n plus one minus two proper faces. Okay, all right. Um, So we have talked about uh, geometric simplicial complexes, and then now we're talking about abstract simplicial complexes, and then we want to uh, relate them in some way, shape, or form. Okay. So given a geometric simplicial complex, okay, right, we can construct An abstract simplicial complex let's call that A uh, by discarding the simplices and then basically just uh, retaining the uh, spanning set of vertices Basically, um, you know, it's like every time you have a simplex, it's like uh, in your geometric simplicial complex, you throw out this convex hull and you just uh, replace it by this set. It's like which consists of um, the spanning set of vertices. Okay. 
um, then we say that uh, uh, we call A the vertex scheme of K. And then conversely, uh, K is the geometric realization of A. Okay, so, so you might ask uh, whether it's easy to construct geometric realizations. And it turns out that uh, if you have a high enough dimensional space, a high en enough embedding space, uh, then you can always uh, sort of trivially construct a geometric realization of an abstract simplicial complex. Okay, uh, so let me just stop here for now and then we'll continue.